Immutable Instruments Marbles is a module that was designed to do generative music. And I'm going to show it off in a few different ways. This movie is going to be dedicated to showing it in a normal generative application. But then the next two movies are going to be showing ways of using sections of it in an otherwise normal melodic patch. Let's get a quick overview of how Marbles works. There's a few core sections to it. The trigger outputs and the control voltage outputs. On the trigger side, you can externally clock it or run it internally. I'm clocking from my vector sequencer right now. The rate knob either works as rate on internal clock or for external clock, it acts as a divider or a multiplier. There's also a button to go ahead and go between some standard clock divisions and multiplications. You can add jitter to the clocks if you want to, even external clocks. Now these three trigger outputs have very specific purposes. The center one is running at the rate of the internal clock. Again, when I slow down the divider, you'll see it has slowed down. These other two, T1 and T3, have a few different purposes set by this switch up here. They can provide different clock divisions, they can do random coin flips like branches, or they can run in sort of a grids kick and snare sort of pattern. That's what I have going right now. The bias control decides whether or not you're going to get more triggers on T1 or on T3. So right now I'm biased towards T1. If I was to go to 12 o'clock in the kick snare mode, they'll just alternate. And if I turn the bias to the other extreme, T3 will be favored. I kind of like T1 being favored, so I'm going to go back there for now. This section up here, Deja Vu, decides whether or not it repeats itself, and when you see these flashing, it's going to keep repeating the same pattern, whether or not it has a completely randomized pattern, or that it has a pattern that's based on the previous pattern, just does variations rather than something completely random. You have clock length, you have the ability to slew your steps, but what's really cool are these spread and bias controls. Now connected to the T trigger outputs are these X voltage outputs. Every time T1 is triggered, X1 is going to put out a new voltage. Same for T2 and X2, T3 and X3. These voltages are actually quantized. You can go ahead and slide between them using the steps, or you can use the spread control to decide which notes on the scale you're going to play. When spread is full counterclockwise, it just plays the one note that you hear now. The more you turn up spread, the more it's going to spread out the CVs from that center voltage. And by the way, the switch determines what that voltage range is. There are a few different scales inside, by the way, that you can go ahead and change by doing a long press on the spread and then deciding what scale you want to use. See those different blinkings. Let's go ahead and bring up spread just a little bit. I've got a little bit of slew here on my steps, so let's go ahead and remove that slew. As you increase the spread towards 12 o'clock, you'll get an even distribution of all the notes in that scale in this voltage range. And then as you increase spread, it actually hollows out the center. It's less likely to get center values and more likely to go for extremes. And a full clockwise, it's just going to hit the octaves. Bias affects what part of the range spread uses. The lower part of the range, the upper part of the range, or something even. If I put bias at 12 o'clock, it's going to evenly go for low octaves and high octaves. If I turn bias all the way negative, it'll play just the low octaves. If I turn bias up all the way, it'll play just the high octaves. And let's turn it down a little bit. Now this can be used for generative music. I could slow this way down. I just have these occasional notes.
Or what's more interesting is I can use these triggers or the CVs to go ahead and alter other events in my modular patch for a normal melodic patch. So I'm gonna go ahead and break down this patch a little bit and start to repurpose these trigger and voltage outputs to alter the timbre of a normal sequence.